Hey, it's Ray, and I'm so happy to tell you that I reached 900 subscribers. Thank you so much, guys. I'm without words almost. Today, I wanted to share the scariest thing that ever happened to me. And if you watched my interview on the podcast, T Freaks and Geeks, you probably heard me talk about this already. But there was one time when I had sleep paralysis. And if you don't know what sleep paralysis is, it's basically when you're asleep and you wake up, but your body doesn't realize you woke up, so you can't move. Uh, in the past, people prob uh, compared it with having a sleep paralysis demon sit on their chest. Anyways, uh, it was back when I still lived with my parents and my mom had the habit of um, when I didn't get out of bed in time to for school to uh, just open the door and turn on the lights to my room and say get out of bed so this morning um, I thought the same thing happened I thought my door opened but the lights didn't come on and I suddenly felt this presence in my room and I first thought it was my mother but then I realized it wasn't it was this dark figure but I couldn't move I could only see uh, you know under the bed sheets so I couldn't really look at it and then I felt some uh, hands coming onto the, the covers and slowly walking with their hands uh, towards me and when I uh, you know when it came close enough to actually see it there was this very loud noise and I realized it was my alarm clock going off and then I woke up huh? what's happening Hello? In the depths of night, when shadows stretch and fade, and the world seems to slip away into a void of infinite blackness. And I'm reminded of the fleeting nature of life. We dance and play, we laugh and love, yet all these joys are but temporary flickers in the grand scheme of things. For what awaits us beyond the veil of death? A chasm of emptiness? A void that swallows all? Erasing our very existence from the fabric of time? No amount of riches or power can save us from this fate, for death is the great equalizer and the end of all things. And so we drift through life like ships lost at sea, searching for meaning and purpose in a world that only offers uncertainty and transcendence. We cling to our dreams and desires, our hopes and fears, but in the end, they too shall fade away like stars in the morning sky. And so I ponder as I stand in the darkness, what is the point of it all? Is there some grand design to this madness? Or are we but mere pawns in a cosmic game of chance? Perhaps the answer lies beyond the fill of death and the nothingness that awaits us all.